one, two, one, two, three. Um, yes, <laughs> I am at the attic. Uh, maybe you can hear. Oh, funny! Now the boiler went off. Yeah. So and the roof here. Yes. Yeah, so I was planning to do that. I was thinking of doing that for some time already. But I only put this picture there and the light behind me, and that's it. I never done it. So. And then I was trying to do actually this video, um, but I couldn't. There is no like space, so welcome to my space. Um, what I'm going to talk today, what I want to talk today is new camera. So I got a camera, which is new for me, but it's not new. Um, once you got a camera, you got some new piece of gear, a new car or something like that. There's always this excitement because it's new, it's brand new specs or some new features, I don't know, eye out of focus or like new rims on a car or anything like that. But when you buy second hand stuff, do you have this excitement? Basically I did. Why? Because I got, as you can see maybe on my strap, um, Canon fanboys, Canon users could not know that this blue, dark blue, navy blue means it's some kind of vintage stuff. It's not that I want to be cool and wear a vintage um, camera strap to new camera. It's uh, Canon 5D Mark I. So Canon, they call it classic, but uh, when they released it for the first time, it was not classic, it was um, just 5D. New generation of um, DSLR, uh, professional uh, generations of DSLR and uh, new future for the company. Now, it's only <coughs> 15 years old, a 12 megapixel camera. And it means it is the most affordable way to go into full frame photography for Canon user. There is few um, reasons I got this camera. So first reason was I needed a backup. We had a job when I needed another camera for photography and Carolina was going one direction, I was going totally different direction, I was doing photo video at the same time. So I was filming with my Canon EOS R, which I'm filming now. But can you hear the boiler? <laughs> uh, but I didn't have a photography camera. So I said, listen, I'm gonna get, I could get a new one. But there's few reasons I didn't. Uh, first of all, is budget. I didn't want to go to buy a new camera and um, I didn't want to buy a new lens because if I got, let's say EOS R or RP or R6, I would need to buy a lens as well. Uh, some RF lens or anything like this. We had already few EF mount lenses of Canon DSLRs and I wanted something which I could put another lens or buy a cheap one, which I did. So I was thinking I could get Canon 5D Mark III or Canon 6D, which uh, my photography journey started with. So photography, professional photography. Uh, so I said, listen, why I'm going to do the challenge? Why don't you get 5D Classic, if it's available, anything on the internet, and get 50mm 1.8 lens? So I was thinking to get this second hand, of course, and maybe this new one, or second hand, but good quality. So not from eBay, from some random seller, but from... some retailer or new 100 pounds which is not that bad so there it is 200 pounds 69 pounds plus memory card which was included in a kit 64 GB and it was 8 GB as well. 
And here it is. Um, I'm not going to show you now any images because it's not about that. So, uh, what I got, another reason was, um, yes, yeah, so that was the budget. I didn't want to buy, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I Frankly, I didn't have this money. Simple as that. So I said, let's go cheapest way possible. So get 5D Mark I, 5D Classic with spare batteries. So I got spare batteries of Amazon, just to be sure batteries are in good condition. But at the end of the day, I didn't go even through one battery. I had three, I didn't go even through one. And the last thing was, um, oh yeah, and the lens I got from mbp.com, um, which they have like thousands of 50 millimeter 1.8 lenses you can choose. Okay. So I got of them and uh, I decided to do a few videos with that and I decided to shoot a wedding. Start with getting ready and start to shoot um, exclusively with, with this wedding, fully paid wedding, paid job. Um, why not? So I focus on settings. I'll tell you why in a second and I focus on composition why because it's 12 megapixel camera you don't want to crop too much you don't want to crop at all maybe straighten up a little bit so I focus on composition and I focus on uh, settings I tell you why there is no auto white balance there is no auto ISO um, and dynamic range is not the best so ISO goes up as much as 1600 so not a lot so you need to make sure you've got light uh, matching your style you want to get out of the camera so I tried to get as much as possible picture in the camera already the one problem is the um, I show you maybe um, 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 uh, that is not gonna really show but uh, the pictures here, I've got here, I was doing actually the photography for okay, just one couple. It's not really the best. It's not really showing you the vibrance which you are getting. It's not gonna show, it's not showing you too much. But what does show, what it shows is um, histogram. So I try to use that portion of screen and to be able to shoot a good histogram. So full, a little bit, not going too much to highlights, not going too much to shadows. Uh, and I focus on that. Um, obviously I use flash when I need it. Uh, I had flash, I use it in TTL. Uh, it did a good job, very good job. I use Canon, uh, 430 because actually and I, again Carolina took all our flashes because she was doing night uh, proposal in uh, challenging uh, lighting conditions and uh, so she took all of our um, 1.4 lenses and I took Canon 35 um, RF uh, mount lens which is not this one this one is 20 to 35 and I took this with 50 millimeter 1.8 shoot pretty much all the time uh, between 2.8 to 4.0 again just to have a lot of a lot of detail in a camera in a picture just to not to be this shallow depth of field but just to be a little bit more uh, deeper and to be able to um, just to keep in mind that it is 15 years old camera and I'm shooting that as new so I don't really know a lot about before going for a wedding uh, here obviously if it, anything goes wrong I would swap to Canon EOS R and I would do photo and video because I was doing only highlight video so it's not like I was rolling the video like all the time uh, so just in case I had another camera here and I took into my bag um, Canon EOS 1100 uh, and again if something happened 
that was the camera I would finish with this lens. So I was covered. It's not like I went just with this one, uh, which I would actually, but I didn't want uh, to be that not professional. Of course, only one card slot. Mm, yes, they didn't thought, they didn't think about that at that time um, because they just moved from um, film to to that in 2005 so um, so yeah that's it uh, I will show you um, behind the scenes backstage getting ready in the next video as soon as Carolina will edit those pictures they are uh, on uh, the um, in uh, Lightroom and Photoshop as we speak and yeah see you in another video from my attic here.